You're watching The View. View. The G View. G View TV. Entertainment for you. Interviews, previews, and reviews. At uh, this time, we have our guest, mm -hmm. Deshaun from Street Kitchen, here to um, give you a taste a delightful dishes that he prepares. Yeah. Good night. Welcome to GVU TV, Deshaun. Good night. Thanks for having me. Um, you have this thing going on now that people are craving about within the GTA, I would say greater Toronto area, Sh street kitchen. Yes. Talk about so people hear about it and, and, and people is actually calling us, asking us about it. So that's why we have you here tonight. Yes. You know, to tell the people what it, what it is about, the, the street kitchen. It's, it's not a restaurant? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. Okay. So, how you go about this street kitchen? Well, street kitchen is a... Uh, we're catering and chef at home. We're primarily chef at home. Where you get the restaurant experience from your house without leaving your house. So, we'll come in with a team. Myself as the chef and a server. And you'll get... The restaurant experience as as on your previous show last week i hear one of your hosts talking about him actually doing that that's exactly what we do where we go into your house and we make uh, a three course meal mm -hmm. and um that three course meal you know we'll send you the menu beforehand you choose what you want we'll draft up what we need to draft up and we'll prep we'll prep it so we'll prep everything the day before or the day off the event come into your house and you sit around your table like you would at a restaurant and get the restaurant experience from your your kitchen table okay <laughs> this sounds a little bit technical and 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 it's not no. um okay so i have my house yes and you're coming there are you walking you're walking with your your own Pots. Pots and yes, I can. We walk with our own, so I walk with my knives, my pots. We only probably need like four pots. Uh -huh. Anyway, whatever. Based on how our menu is set up, mm -hmm. we only need four pots. So you get a, a main course, an appetizer, and a dessert. The menu is is a fusion menu, so we fuse like, for example, earlier on off camera, you guys got to taste. One of our signature um, appetizers, which is the jerk chicken spring roll. Tastes good. Thank you. Uh, so that will be prepped the day off, mm -hmm. and we'll come in and we'll, we'll execute. Just like you go, to, it's similar to going to a restaurant. We'll send you the menu, you look at it. That's so, you coming into the restaurant and looking at the menu. So it's a pre-prepared menu, so you guys decide. Pre-prepared menu. So what if I want to go away from the menu that you have? Huh? We could look at what you want mm -hmm. and we could cater for that needs. So those are the spe really, really special events where someone will be like, this is what I want. Can you make it? So what's like, give me a sample of your menu. Like what would be a regular appetite apart from the jerk chicken Okay, spring so we have, um, we have coconut shrimp. We have uh, steamed mussels. We have steam. We, we, we do very exotic food. That look pretty on the plate, but it's really good. It's <laughs> really good in terms looks of looks good. <laughs> looks good, tastes, tastes good. good. So that's one of our marks. Is it good for you too? Everything is good for you in small quantities. So um how what it would what made you made you want to start this? Because where where did you start before? Like Well, I've worked at um some pretty fancy places and um not everyone likes to live in their house. Mm -hmm. Some people, either they're injured. Like I, I did uh, a couple of weeks ago, I did a, a chef at home where the person was injured. He can't go out, but the chef could go to him. Mm -hmm. So I went to his house and we did a full three course meal. Uh, it just, it's just something that I've seen work where a lot of people are more comfortable in their house. They don't have to leave, they don't have to go drive in the snow. They don't have to take the bus if they do take transit. It's just one of those things that work. Mm -hmm. That that and and 
for someone to book you how how long in advance they have to we do uh two days right now we could run two days it is february it is one of our busiest months because we have valentine's and then we have the day after valentine's which is it is a special day for lovers <laughs> what is it May called not be <laughs> <laughs> what is it called yeah. what's that day called uh well the the messages i've seen in my in the inbox on instagram it says the other girlfriend day wow. so i don't know i don't know if it's a <laughs> so thing. this is real like it this is, is real, real. It's it is real. real the other girlfriend day yes it's and the day after and you know it depends on how much spouses you have or whatever it does <laughs> not, you don't need to it's not only in february that we're, we're heavily booked mm -hmm. you could just want us an anniversary dinner for your wife you just want to have a nice night with your wife at home okay so i have a question yes sir do you only do um like special romantic dinners or can people book you like if they're having like a small birthday party yes or a barbecue like you're you're available for all things yes all okay. things cooking all in terms cooking. of if you if you really want to hire me to come to your house to cook mackerel and rice i could do it i would prefer not to do it but i can do that yes because it's the chef experience at home that we're trying to bring across okay. so is it just the uh or you said it's the restaurant experience brought into my home yes so do you add anything else what makes it so special apart from a fact that i don't have to go to i don't have to drive to the restaurant so hold on ali that's not special it. enough no the I restaurant mean, no. experience what, what, okay, what are you adding to it like what, what do i get the, added to the it one-on-one -on -one service where you're you know within a restaurant mm -hmm. that one server might have four to five different tables mm -hmm. you are the focal point so whatever you want so even say we've done dinners where a lot of caribbean people don't eat steak the way i would personally or mm -hmm. They, they, they would want it rare. they'd want it a little on the burn side mm -hmm. which is either you know well done or some of them will tell you burn <laughs> so it's it's just that personalized service that you get from appetizer to dessert the reason why i ask is because i know of a similar service in the u.s where they actually go into your home and they cook just as you said but they add a little touch to it where they will bring like jamaican games like they're actually bringing the jamaican culture into the home so that's why i ask what what's your added thing to it apart from me not having to go to the no we don't have any jamaican games or any other lovely stuff mm -hmm. what we have is just the restaurant experience with you being the focal point okay you your, your food being on time your phone your food being hot your food mm -hmm. tasting good looking good our 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 motto is taste is key and food is art which means we want it to taste very very good mm -hmm. but we also want you to look at it for at least two three minutes before you start eating like wow should i really eat it or mm -hmm. <laughs> what, ab what about the table settings we do that as well you you, you set the table yeah, you set the tables and beverage too the, the, there's a beverage package that's available so for an anniversary we'll we'll provide you with a a complimentary bottle of champagne or champagne served table side we do we, we do whatever it takes to make that guest feel special so for me like that i have an allergy problem I would have to tell you what I'm allergic to. And, yeah, and so we, we're very conscious with uh, with allergy problems. So if you do have an allergy, you want to disclose that before. On our menu, it states that. Just disclose all your allergies, and we'll, we'll definitely make sure that we don't come in contact with that because that's a very, very serious thing that we take very serious. Uh, that's good, that's good. So, so Deshaun. Yes, sir. I've known you for a long time how yes, <laughs> long have you been doing one the, the the chefing like on a professional level and how long have you been operating street kitchen like how did you even start to cook i cook you know but <laughs> what can you cook, I, though? I, yeah i wouldn't go to nobody else's house and go <laughs> cook for them you know what i mean so how did you start in did you go to school or like well 
uh, I didn't, I am not classically trained where I went to Humber or I went to George Brown. I've worked with some of the best chefs Toronto has to offer. A lot of French chefs, one in particular, which is Daniel Bouloud. He has restaurants all over the world from New York to Tiki Tiki. Um, I've learned under the best chefs, worked at different fusion restaurants that help fuse food, give food a different look, a different flavor. I've been doing, I've been working in a kitchen environment, I would say all my life. Professionally, when I first moved to Canada, I started working in McDonald's. So it, it's that McDonald's mentality that, you know, carried me all this way. I've worked at restaurants from Cafe Blue downtown to Four Seasons, to as simple as the Moxie's restaurant. Um, Street Kitchen's been around about two years now. We're coming up to our two, two years anniversary in um, June. Mm -hmm. uh, it was just one of those days I was home and whenever there's a there's an El Clasico going on or there's a, a Manchester United game going on, my friends would come over and they were like, you should do something else other than working. And then, you know, I started you know, steaming fish, just regular steam fish, and they'll come over and they'll be like, okay, that's what we have on the menu today. So you have you have a different thing other than Jamaican menu? Yeah, we have we have we have a fusion menu and we have a, a, a seafood heavy Jamaican mm. menu, which is snappers, lobsters, mussels, clams, you name it. Food for the back. <laughs> Yes, Food sir. for the back. Well, big of yourself, Deshaun, this street kitchen thing is is taking the GTA by storm. And um, I don't know if if, if it's going to be right to um to come out with a, 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 a restaurant itself. Because this restaurant is on wheels, I think. It, 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 it is something that we're looking into. It's probably not going to be a... a Moxie's or as come and sit down type restaurant. Mm -hmm. It will be more kitchen focused where we have that that space to accommodate or, or just the prepping and doing all that lovely stuff to make sure every chef at home that we do is a, is is a success. Well, thank you, thank you for being on GView TV. It was a pleasure having you here. Thank you, sir. So, yeah. so Dishan, if people need to book you. Um, how do they get in touch? Because right are, now, especially what what the menu where your name and the service that you provide, we have like a seafood one, that's the one I'm yeah. today. Yeah. So let people know how they can get in touch with you. If well, they, they you can get in contact with me by Instagram, which is Street Kitchen. We're the first one at the top. So S T R E E T E Kitchen. Facebook, same thing, Street Kitchen, and phone number six four seven. Nine six seven seven three two six, and yeah, we are. If you follow anybody that's around this table, or any one of the the major producers in dancehall, you would see me, because I have done work for them from heavy metal to you name everybody. it. Everybody, everybody. There you have it. Big up yourself. Street, Street kitchen. kitchen. There you have it, guys. Any any. Contact again, you want to big up some people? Like. Yeah, man, big up all the people that supported me from Blue Diamond, you know. Sanjay, big up yourself. Oh, you're from Mumbai? No, no, oh. no, I'm from Chilani. I was born in Chilani. Oh, okay. Big up everybody, grandma, everybody, my second chef, my sous chef, and everybody. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. Again, big up yourself. You know, thank you for passing through on GVU TV. We're going to take a little break for the cause. And when we come back, we're going to have the world premiere of what? video release. Isos. Isos are the most passing through on GVU TV. Keep it locked. Don't move a muscle. Your boy, Sean Breezy.